everybody. We are back once again. I am Blake. I am Lorraine Sink, host and writer of The Watcher. And this man is... And we are joined by the wonderful team from Puzzle Quest. Please tell us your names and your titles. I'm Alex Irvine. I have the privilege to write the game. Uh, I'm Joe Fletcher. I'm the producer for Marvel Puzzle Quest. Thank you so much. And of course, you are watching Marvel Live from New York Comic Con 2014, brought to you by Marvel Contest of Champions. So tell us, what have you guys been up to so far today? Uh, well, I've uh, been working actually out on the floor. We've got a booth here showing off some of the stuff that we're uh, doing recently in the game. It's our one year anniversary. Just yes. hit one year on October 3rd and really happy to be around for our first year and keep it on going. So. Nice. And, and what do you have uh, planned go coming up for the rest of the con? Anything fun and exciting? Well, we're showing off a lot of our anniversary stuff. Uh, we just, uh, for the anniversary, released Devil Dinosaur for nice. a oh, playable cool. character. So you can go out there and uh, chomp on some people and uh, wave around your tiny arms. It's, it's pretty nice. <laughs> <laughs> um, players in the game are also getting uh, double rewards for their, uh, their ISO 8. So any time you're playing, you can get more currency, you keep playing, and you know, just showing off a lot of the fan favorite events and things that we've run from the past year. We actually had uh, votes for all the different PvE events and versus events and things like that that uh, the players ran through before to find out what we wanted to run over the anniversary time. So we're running those as well. Very cool. Now, if somebody has not played the game yet, one, get on it. Uh, but two, if they haven't played the game, can you tell them a little bit about the story behind the game and what the gameplay is like? Uh, yeah, the story uh, begins with Dark Rain, um, which is the story from the comics. Um, it, Norman Osborn uh, uh, finagles a way to disrupt and replace S.H.I.E.L.D. with his own organization and his own versions of the Avengers called the Dark Avengers. Everybody knows that. And uh, <laughs> one of the things that makes it great with the gameplay of this game is that you're able to play both Avengers and Dark Avengers. Um, you're, and you're able to put them on the same team if you want. And uh, then. The, uh, the story proceeds in a mission-based kind of way, um, riffing on the Dark Avengers storyline, and, um, and then developing and adding new characters as it goes on. And it is uh, soon to close, and we're on to new things. So we'll be wrapping that up, so get in on it and see the ending, um, and uh, see what we got planned next, which is going to be pretty great. Yeah. So our, our first non-Dark Reign uh, storyline that we just brought out was uh, Deadpool versus Marvel Puzzle Quest. So <laughs> Deadpool's on a mission to go beat up some heroes and villains to get ISO 8 so he can buy the world supply of chimichangas. You know, <laughs> Deadpool's thing. <laughs> awesome. Is it still fun to play the game even though you kind of know all the behind the scenes? I, I play it constantly. Yeah, like, the uh, same I was, play, I was standing over there just playing it a couple of minutes ago. <laughs> Um, and I have my own like favorite teams, and then I then I'm constantly sweating trying to win this guy or, or that guy, and so yeah, I play it all the time. I want to talk to you, Alex. You have the coolest kind of background and all the yeah. crazy stuff you do. Can you take the fans through all the the fun um, the stuff I'm just doing right now, or uh, just sort of? I don't want to know if we have the time with I know. everything. <laughs> but, so, some Marvel right, history. I was, I was and born in Ypsilanti, Michigan. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I've uh, going back. My, my first thing for Marvel was uh, was a Hellstorm Max book back in 2005, and then I did Daredevil and Iron Man and comics, and then uh, I've done some novelizations for Marvel. Most recently, um, since this is right here, Secret Wars, <laughs> um, that comes out in January. Uh, I write uh, uh, two other Marvel games as well, in addition to Puzzle Quest. I write uh, Marvel War of Heroes and Marvel Avengers Alliance, and uh, I just over at the Inside Editions booth, which is kind of directly behind me here. Um, they have some copies, advanced copies, of a new book that I wrote called uh, Marvel Vehicles Owner's Workshop Manual, which is a Haynes Manual style uh, breakdowns and cutaways of all the famous Marvel vehicles, along with mission histories and specs and, and uh, different characters talking about how they've used these different vehicles. And uh, The book's a blast. You should get over and check it out over there. Have you always had an uh, interest in mechanics and that kind of thing? Yeah, I had Haynes Manuals. And, oh, yeah? Oh, yeah, <laughs> and because uh, I had cars that needed them. And so it's... Uh, um, the last one I had was for an 86 Land Cruiser, and, um, and then when I sold that car, I called that car Igor, and then when I sold, I sold the Haynes manual with the car, and I haven't had one since then, but, uh, <laughs> but yeah, I used, to, I used to like to work on my cars. Now they're all computerized, and it's complicated, so yeah. I don't do it as much anymore. <laughs> I want to ask, too, since, uh, do you ever feel any guilt for how addictive the game is? <laughs> Can you sleep at night? Yeah, I mean, it's it's interesting. Like, it, it is a fairly addicting game. And even having worked on it since, you know, we started up the project two and a half years ago, you know, brought it out 
for you know public last year I'm still playing it on a constant basis <laughs> but we are always looking at like metrics and making it easier for people to play whenever they want so you don't have to feel like okay I got to back on it. Oh, it's been two and a half hours I got to back on it. Yeah. so yes a little bit of guilt in that we don't feel that someone should have to make that their lives you know if they want to play sure cool but you know it's it should be another part of your balanced diet of video games and comic books. <laughs> he doesn't feel guilty at all. <laughs> Not even a little bit. No, no. Uh, and can you explain, uh, I, wish, I wish we had it available. Uh, do you guys have it available actually on your phone that we can show? Because I, I love the, the whole design the of the game. It's really mm -hmm. cool. Uh, and, and I think the gameplay is really, really fun. I think it's always My a good thing to look right. at. All right, let me see if I can get mine here. Um, it's a race. Oh, we're having Javits bandwidth disaster. Well, it might not happen because there are a million billion people approximately behind us enjoying the floor. But can you explain a little bit of how it works, how you play, what kind of mechanisms it uses within the game? So the game itself, at its base, is a match three puzzle RPG. So it's a match three, so you're matching up tiles at least three in a row, and you're gaining energy in order to use the character's special moves. Mm -hmm. So uh, you bring in at least three uh, Marvel characters at a time, and you know, like Alex is saying, you can bring in Dark Avengers and Avengers on the same side. Some missions have special things right. where you can only use Avengers, or you can only use female characters, or you can only use you know, Deadpool as one of the characters, things like that. So there are limitations sometimes, but for the most part, if you like using uh, you know, Deadpool along with Black Widow, along with Spider-Man Bagman, go for it. <laughs> um, and each of the characters having their own special abilities means that there's a lot of tactical considerations involved. So you want to make sure that your characters are covering all the different tiles that are on the board and that if the enemies are using countdown tiles more than anything, you want to be able to take out those countdown tiles before they can set them off and things like that. So you can go into the game and just kind of match up some colors and blow some stuff up and have some fun. And if you really want to get into it, there's a learning curve and a ton of tactical considerations and things that you can really get into the game with. Yeah, there's more complexity to it than it looks at first, but you don't have to play it that way. That's the fun yeah. thing about it is you can, you can just match colors and, and, and like Joe was saying, blow stuff up. Um, <laughs> or you can sit there and think, you know, last time I fought these guys, I used these three guys and that didn't work. So now I'm going to substitute these other guys in. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and you can obsess over it like I do. So I recommend that. Uh, we have a fan ask, they said, the game is so addictive, but isn't available on the Windows phone, will it? Yes, uh, it is not currently available on the uh, Windows phone. Uh, we are always looking at bringing it to new platforms. You know, love to do Windows phone, Amazon Fire, you know, other right. things. So it's a matter of getting the engineering time in, deciding whether the platform's, you know, worthwhile. I mean, sure, we could bring it to the Commodore 64, but I think, you know, <laughs> yes. people will be playing it at this point. Finally, we have a reason to use the Commodore 64. Thank you guys so much for joining us. Uh, before we head out, can you tell us where fans can find the game and where they can find you guys online? Yep. Sure. So the game's available on iOS through the App Store, obviously, uh, Android through Google Play, and it's also available on PC on Steam. Uh, oh, Marvel cool. Puzzle Quest is on Twitter at uh, Marvel Puzzle, and then on Facebook at Marvel Puzzle Quest. And I'm on uh, also Twitter, Alex Irvine. Uh, Facebook, same. And, uh, and where can they find your book? Um, well, they, uh, they, they can find some of them at various stores here. Um, the uh, the uh, Vehicles book will be out on Tuesday, so grab it then. Awesome. We'll see you guys soon. The Carnage versus.